Hi everybody, Dr. Joe here, and the first thing I'm going to tell you is something you already know. It's that pickleball is sweeping the nation. It is one of the fastest growing sports. But as a physical therapist, I can also tell you injuries in pickleball are also sweeping the nation. So today I'm going to cover my three favorite exercises to protect your shoulder during pickleball. As a bonus, you can do every single one of them with this simple band you can get on Amazon for about five bucks. Now, before we jump into the exercises, I need you to understand three things about the shoulder. The first is your rotator cuff. While it does rotation of the shoulder, it also stabilizes your glenohumeral joint. That's the fancy name for your shoulder joint, that ball and socket I'm sure you can picture. We're going to have an exercise for that. The second thing is the importance of the shoulder blade and upper back musculature. The position of your shoulder blade is really what sets your shoulder up for success. So we would definitely want to cover an exercise for that. And the third and last thing is that the only things that prevent injury aren't just strength and flexibility. There's also coordination and control or using the muscles of the shoulder when and how we want to. So we're also going to make sure we cover an exercise for that. Exercise one is always a favorite of my patients because it can sometimes immediately make your shoulder feel better by getting your rotator cuff activity up and stabilizing the shoulder. <clears throat> to do it, you just need a simple circular band like this. You're going to place it around your wrist. You want to take your elbow and put it at 90 degrees and close to your side. So if you look at it from a back view, there's not going to be much room between my elbow and my sides. From there, I'm going to press out into the band with the wrist while keeping the elbows tight. That focused external rotation is going to train our infraspinatus muscle, probably the most important muscle of your rotator cuff. Once you have tension on it, you're simply going to let the tension off and push back out, and you're going to do that repeatedly. I'll give you a side view. Now, the most important thing you have to remember here is that we don't want the band to come off of tension. So never go all the way back in and let the band relax. You want to keep a constant tension on it, which is going to make sure we work the shoulder, shoulder joint enough to get to that fatigue point. So keep that tension, drive in and out. 20 to 30 seconds is going to be perfect. I would say at least three sets, two to three times a week. The second exercise we're going to cover is also going to require this band. The difference is the position is going to be elbow straight because when the elbow is straight, we're going to shift the focus to the shoulder blades. When the elbow is bent, we're going to focus on the rotator cuff. So I'm going to put that band around my wrist again. I'm going to press apart to create some tension. I'm going to let go, and then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to repeat this. This is position one, which is the easier one. When you get good down here, you're going to bring it up to shoulder level and you're going to press apart. Again, it's important that we keep tension on the band throughout the movements because we don't want to give the muscle too much of a rest. We have to create a certain amount of stress if we expect strength to follow. The third and final exercise to prevent shoulder injuries during pickleball is called a band pull apart plus raise. And this is going to be a coordination movement. So what happens when our arm goes overhead is as we get higher and higher, the rotator cuff and the shoulder blade muscles have to work harder. So we want to train it for that. So similar to our last position, we're going to put the band around your wrist. What you're going to do is start with a very small amount of tension at the bottom. As your hands go up, you want to try and drive them farther apart so that the tension on the band increases. And as you go down, you're going to let tension off. This trains our brain and our muscles to increase activation the higher we get into the different positions. Again, that's exactly what we want from shoulder stability. You can do a modified version of this to shift the stress to your rotator cuff by bending your elbows. And this time, what you're going to do is, as you raise up, you're going to push farther apart. As you come down, you're going to take the tension down. As you go up, the band goes apart. And as you come down, you're going to take tension off. That's going to make sure we're getting the proper amount of muscle activation from both your rotator cuff and your scapular stabilizers. Thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me. hope these exercises keep you healthy on the pickleball court for a long time to come. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Or if there's another joint or body part you want me to talk about, 
you can also leave that in the comments. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more.